Welcome to the Bigger Flip Show. I am Michael Pinter. I teach you how to start flipping houses, or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So FISBO is short for for sale by owner. And for sale by owner means that you're making a mistake. So let me explain. And I know I'm going to get comments. Oh, I once sold my house and I didn't pay any commissions and I got exactly what I wanted. The two reasons why going FISBO by for sale by owner is the stupidest thing you could do, right? There's really only two ways you can sell a house. One is to an investor if there's some kind of problem or issue where you don't want to list it. And 90% of the houses are going to go, 90, 9 out of 10, are going to be sold with an agent listed on the multiple listing service. But people who go FISBO for sale by owner, there's two reasons why it is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Number one is most of the people are never going to see your house. Now, not they may not see your house. They're literally, by design, not going to be showing your house. Because most of the people, at least in my area and in other places, it's more like 75 or 80% of the buyers have a buyer's agent. And that buyer's agent has going to go is going to go look around and find houses for them. And that agent has told the buyer, you're not going to pay me. The seller is going to pay me. Now, there's some legislation going on, litigation about that now. But for, for now, it's still the same. So that buyer's agent is never going to show any of his clients your house if you're for a sale by owner because he wants to get paid. So number one is a significant amount of people are not going to see it. Now you say, but I listed it on, on Zillow. Guess what? Even though you look at Zillow, a vast majority of the of, of home buying people don't look on Zillow. And certainly anybody who's hard in age is not looking on Zillow. So most people are not going to see your house. That's number one. Number two is you're never ever going to know if you sold it for the most money. Because if you don't show your house to the most people, you don't know if you got the most money. That's why listing it with an agent is a much better option. Now, if there's some reason why you can't list it with an agent, then sell it to an investor. But the idea that you are going to make money by saving the commission is such a bad idea because if most of the people are not seeing your house and you really don't know what it's worth because you're just guessing or you heard or your friend told you or somebody at the gym told you, you don't really know what it's worth. So you may have in mind your house is worth six hundred thousand dollars, and then really it's worth seven six fifty to six seventy five. And you, some buyer comes and gives you six hundred, and you're thrilled you got what you wanted, but you might have left seventy five thousand dollars on the table. That exact situation happened a bunch of times in situations when I was involved, right? So somebody was a, was trying to sell Fisbo, got a price, called me up and said, I don't know. I go, listen, don't take that price. Let me list it for you. I promise you, even after you pay my commission will get more for you. And that's ha that happened several times. So I do take listings. So don't ever go FISBO with your house. Don't ever sell it for sale by owner. Ever, ever. You should, if your house is in good shape and you don't have a time problem or any other problems that we discussed, then just list it with an agent. You'll get the most money for it because the most people will see it and you'll see what the free market will bring. Or if you have some kind of problem, then call an investor like me or wherever you're watching, an investor in your area. But don't ever, 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 go for sale by owner. Thank you very, very much for watching. Where's my mouse? Sorry.